the, the experience that I went through here was amazing. It's games and science together. The, the facilitators and the teachers have done an amazing work. I never expected that kids would come out with this kind of solution. I think what you're doing is introducing the children to this design thinking concept, which is the key to the future, where think about the problems, combine it with your own learnings, try to combine, do a teamwork, make a product. I think this is absolutely fabulous and brilliant. Design was a three-week curriculum, which is usually a part of uh, culmination, where students will be exposed to various uh, tools out there, from cardboard to alligator clips, LEDs, and uh, makey makey and scratch. And maker challenges will be given in every one hour, where students are now creating authentic products that help promote wellness. So we began with something that's low tech, such as cardboard, and we said, okay, everyone's here. Uh, your first maker challenge is to create a game that reduces stress and we give them 45 to, no, sorry not 45, 20, 25 minutes to a uh, make so they ended up creating various games around that. Then we escalated to the second level where we said now that you made a game about stress we said here are some alligator clips, here are some buzzers and LEDs and the maker challenge was to create a wearable, something you could put on that helps um, user alert on their body poster or increase their diet habits. So students then came up with various versions of a body poster belt where you put it on and as soon as you bend the buzzer goes off. Mind you these were not the models we asked them to create. We just gave them a broad challenge and we said here are the tools, go ahead and um, innovate. They made a circuit, a human circuit because they figured out humans are conductive and they made a family Pac-Man game. So now if you are, if there's a tension in the family, you come together, so a player have to control left and right buttons, so you have to together collaborate to win that Pac-Man um, game. And what we see happening here is a uh, Oh, there's a multidisciplinary environment that we're trying to aim for with the maker integration. So students are coming in a biology class with that biology content, but when we give these tools, the concepts of circuitry that is coming, there's also the computer programming language that is coming. So we're not just doing limiting ourselves to play hour. What is happening parallelly in the classrooms is, we've made them identify a user, which is one of their parent, and try to and enable them to talk to their parent about what is the issue that they've identified? Stress. Does my father get stressed? You go talk to your father, which is your user. When are the occasions that they tend to feel stressed the most? What is the kind of product I can create that would help reduce your stress? So we bought in the cycle of design thinking and building empathy around that. Along with empathy, we've given them the tools. Uh, after this 45 minute play hour, they're gonna have six hours of product development time. So in the first hour, they collaborate within groups, identify their theme, talk to the user and then they sketch out their idea on a piece of paper. What is my product that's going to help my user going to look like? Then we give them about three hour hours to back to back to develop that product after which they take that product back to the user and receive feedback. Is this product anyway close to helping you with the problem? We have one cycle of that and finally on the 27th the user which is the parent is invited to come and check the product and see to what extent has that helped address that issue of wellness or that issue of body poster or that issue of um, exercise. So that's how we are going around with the formal integration of the team. And then there's this device that you can wear around your neck and whenever the, you know, it touches it and then the beak goes. So reminding you that you have to keep your neck straight. So this has led to so many of, you know, cervical issues. The, just you know, being on phone for a long time, being on the computers for the long time, and this device that's very wearable, just like you know, you wrap it around your neck, and when every time it goes down, it just reminds you that you have to keep it straight. And the other thing that it, that stood out to me was uh, a game where the kids had made Mario, but made you play by jumping and lunging that's yourself. Physical so physical activity and playing Mario, and that was an awesome concept as well. Uh, what amazed me was the whole conceptual to commercialization journey which they were clear about. I did not expect them to be clear about it. I questioned some of them and they were clear about the fact that what's there in market, what's not there. So it's not only the concepts they are clarifying because they are so energized and excited about it. They are getting to know about the larger environment in which they can go out and do this. We used to study from books and we used to imagine things like how our body will function biology and if you're adding programming to it, uh, I mean imagination can go anywhere so this is amazing.